A little over a month ago, we got our first look at Dragon Age Railguard's companions and our newest hero, Rook. And since then, the fandom has asked me and theorizing about who would be stepping up to voice our new heroes. Well, theorize no more, as Bioware have released a list of voice actors playing our new hero and companions. Starting off with Rook, like the Inquisitor, Rook will have four voice actors for players to choose from. Two male and two female. One of each with a British accent and one of each with an American accent. For the British actors, we have Alex Jordan and Byronie Corrigan. Jordan has a long and accomplished career across TV, including Doctor Who, The Seventh Doctor Adventures, and British soap opera EastEnders, and several podcast series like The Confessions of Dorian Gray and The War Master. Jordan also boasts a strong voice acting career in video games. Over the last few years, he's appeared in major hits like Game of Thrones, The Telltale Game, Final Fantasy XVI, and as Mr. Hands in Cyberpunk 2077. This is the, the my favorite merc. Splendid. What you completed for me significantly shifted the playing field vis-a-vis -vis handsome. Excellent work, precisely as requested. However, he may be best known for doing some adult noises in Baldur's Gate 3. As for Corgan, she's mainly kept her career to TV with guest appearances on shows like Good Omens and Inspector George Gently. Corgan is probably best known for her role as Vanessa in The Goes Wrong Show. The Goes Wrong Show is a British comedy television series following the corny polytechnic drama society, performing a play on live television before a live studio audience. Fortunately for the cast and to the delight of the audience, everything that could go wrong with the society's performance does, with props and stage pieces falling apart, mistakes with lines and the cast suffering from a variety of accidents. The sweetest, dearest boy that there ever was. One of Corgan's most recent roles was Baldur's Gate 3, where she played multiple roles, including Blaze Safara and Nine Fingers Keen. Representing the American voice actors, we have Erika Ishii and Jeff Berg. Erika Ishii is a well-known voice actor with some of their roles including Ruth Zing in Cyberpunk 2077, Valkyrie in Apex Legends, and Captain Amy Fang in 2023's Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. However, Ishii is probably best known for their appearance in a wide variety of online shows including LA by Night, Critical Role, Dimension 20, and Game Changer. Ishii is a massive Dragon Age fan and an unapologetic solo's romancer. Rook will be their first protagonist they played and to say that they are excited is a bit of an understatement. Our final choice to voice Rook is Jeff Berg, who has a strong list of credentials on IMDb, both on the small screen and in video games. These accolades include Mirror's Edge, Catalyst, Star Wars Battlefront 2, Love, Death and Robots, and Anthem, just to name a small few. Like his fellow Rooks, Berg was quick to take to social media, celebrating the announcement and sharing how excited he is for Dragon Age Veilguard. Now, it's not just new voices appearing in Dragon Age Veilguard, there are plenty of returning actors replied to some of our most favourite characters. One such voice is the incredible Ali Hillis as Scout Lace Harding. Ali Hillis is an iconic actor both in TV, having appeared in shows like Bones and Criminal Minds, and in video games like Star Trek Resurgence and Spider-Man 2. However, for us Bioware fans, she is only Lace Harding and Shaper Revolta in Dragon Age Inquisition, and of course, the iconic Dr. Liara Tassoni in the Mass Effect series. Shepard, thank the goddess you're alive. You know, I had no fear that Hillis would be reprising her role, but it's great to have confirmation that she's returning. Scout Harding was a favourite of Dragon Age Inquisition fans, and Hillis' performance definitely helped sell that role. Not all the cast released by Bioware were brand new announcements. Ike Amadi was revealed back in 2020 to be the voice of the Grey Warden Garvin, although it wouldn't be until the big reveal a month ago that we got our first look at him and his griffin companion, Asan. Amadi has multiple iconic roles in both TV and video games, like Earthbreaker Groon in The Legend of Vox Machina and Aaron Davis in the most recent Spider-Man games. However, Bioware fans are best known as Javik in Mass Effect 3. Darwin is one of the few new voices we've heard, and already Amadi has shown just how perfect he is for the role of a stoic Grey Warden warrior. He dies on my watch. For the Wardens! Alongside the announcement of Ike Amadi, we had the announcement of Ji Young Han as the elven mage Bellera Lutara. Han is another returning Bioware actor, having played Sentinel Dax in Anthem, along with many guest roles in TV, including Perry Mason, Superstore, and The Rookie. Like with Amadi, we have heard Han as Bellera, and she seems perfect for the casting. No, it's okay. That's the good kind of Rumble. 
she gave a performance that was just full of excitement, which makes sense for a character like Bellera. Bellera is a veil jumper, someone who delves into ancient elven runes and seeks to understand the mysteries of magic. One of the first new companions we got to see back in June was a returning character, Nev Gallus, a mage, private investigator, and an associate of the anti-slavery movement, the Shadow Dragons. Nev will be played by English actress Jessica Clark, with Dragon Age Valgar being her first video game. Up until now, Clark has worked across multiple TV shows, including True Blood, The Dollmaker, and Alien Harvest. I really like what we've heard of Nev so far. In what little we've seen, she comes across as both calm and in control, which would make sense for her character, who spends a lot of her time on the streets of Minrathos fighting against the worst of the worst. If the rest of Clark's performance is like this, then she will have perfectly been cast as Nev. Jin Mali will be the voice of Tash, our new dragon hunting canary. Dragon Age of Elgard will be Mali's second time to voice a character in a video game. Back in 2023, they voiced Mads in Hellboy, Web of Weird. Up until now, the majority of Mali's acting career has been on TV, with their roles including shows like Criminal Minds, Grey's Anatomy, and Total Eclipse. However, Mali's biggest role was as Ensign SMR in Season 3 of Star Trek Picard. But we haven't had a chance to hear Mali as Tash just yet, Dragon Age YouTuber and Veilguard Community Council member Gilder Solon has given us a hint of Tash's voice. She described it as deadpan but in a good way, and said that Tash is a lot of fun. I could see a deadpan performance going a number of different ways, but I trust Gilder Solon's judgement that it's a good performance. Next we have the older mage everyone has become obsessed with, Emmerich Volkaren. Emmerich will be played by South African actor Nick Borain. Borain has been acting across TV, movies and theatre since the 1990s. He's appeared in hits like District 9 and Chicago Fire, played Dr. Frankenfurter in a stage performance of the Rocky Horror Picture Show, and is currently the voice of Kronos in the new Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. I won. You lost. Get out of my field, Jack. How cold do we not wear maiden wool? If you can turn one, it was Megs. Valgard is in Brain's first role in video games. He's already appeared in two Call of Duty games. And accompanying Emmerich is his faithful animated skeleton servant, Manfred, who's voiced by voice acting legend, Matt Mercer. Mercer is a well-known name across video games and animation, having played iconic roles like Leon Kennedy in Resident Evil, Ganondorf in Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, and Fairbanks in Dragon Age Absolution. But of course, despite all of these and many other roles, Matt's most well-known role is that of the Dungeon Master of Critical Role. Hurt. Hell hurt. 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 Across three campaigns, a few smaller ones, and plenty of one-shots, Matt has voiced hundreds, if not thousands, of characters. Across all of these characters, Matt has given us a wide variety of performances, from gruff barbarians to timid merchants, pompous nobility, and know-it-all mages. It's possible that we've already heard Manfred's voice long ago across the countless errors that make up Critical Role. Yes, it's Percival. Do you remember me? No! <laughs> And the last of our companions is Lucanus de la Morte, a master assassin of the Antivan Crows and the favourite grandson of the first Talon, one of the leaders of the Antivan Crows. Lucanus will be played by Zach Mendez. Mendez has been in a handful of TV shows, including Now What and My Crazy Ex. However, one of his most well-known roles is probably that of Pax in Horizon Forbidden West. Like most of our new companions, we haven't had a chance to hear what Lucanus will sound like. Thankfully, however, Gilda Solomon is to the rescue again, preparing his voice for this clip here. Pickles. No one does, but it's beautiful. Come, please. Well, if you change your mind, the devs and Rebar will always be here for you. Adios, mi amor. And as you can imagine, that one little clip has already got plenty of fans swooning. Alongside the announcement of who will be playing Rook and all of our companions, Bioware did confirm two more returning voice actors for Dragon Age the Veilguard. Like Ali Hillis, Gareth David Lloyd will be reprising his role as Solus, something we have known since 2020, and Brian Bloom will be returning to voice Varric. Like with Hillis, Lloyd and Bloom returning to voice their iconic characters isn't a surprise, but it's great to have confirmation that they are returning. Outside of Dragon Age, Lloyd has done plenty of TV work and leads a metal progressive band called Blue Galipsy. His role as Yanto Jones in Torchwood and Doctor Who is one of, if not his most iconic role. As for Bloom, he has an extensive and varied acting career, both in live action and in voiceover, with roles like Taskmaster in Insomniac Spider-Man and BJ Blazkowicz in the Wolfenstein games. Really though, all these voices are just the tip of the iceberg. There's going to be hundreds of characters in Veilguard, with plenty of voice actors stepping up to play them. Personally for myself, I can't wait to see who's playing Elgernon and Gillanon. 
The voices for the villains of past Dragon Age games have been fantastic, and I can't wait to hear what the villains for Dragon Age the Veilguard sound like. But what do you guys think of the cast? Who surprised you the most out of these names? I love the cast. It's diverse, with plenty of experience, but also a good few new faces for both Dragon Age and the gaming worlds. And I've got a great feeling that they're going to continue the legacy of great performances that Dragon Age games are known for.